Well, good Saturday evening, everyone. Taking a look outside. It is the calm before the storm, folks. As you can see, we're looking quiet out there across the area at this time. Temperatures in the lower 70s, dew points in the 60s, so the air is primed for showers and thunderstorms, and I think we do have that on the way. Take a look at the radar picture. You can see absolutely quiet, so if you have any plans over the next couple of hours, we're going to be a OK. I am still tracking a weak upper level disturbance that's moving in mainly well to our north and west this evening. It could spark off an isolated storm or two for areas along along the highway 20 corridors to go throughout the next couple of hours. But for the most part, I think we're going to stay dry. Now, here are the big storms that I'm watching for our early Sunday morning. You can see a big complex of storms developing here just north of Sioux Falls there as it makes its way south and east about to make its way into northwestern Iowa now. So it's going to have a little time before it actually arrives in our viewing area here, and I think that will happen as we head towards tomorrow morning early on. So get ready, though. These storms are producing quite a bit of damage, including lots of wind damage reports showing up. We're getting widespread reports of 60 to 70 mile per hour winds with these storms they're making way through and yes there have been some isolated tornadoes also reported with this little spin up tornadoes uh, that are developing basically along this line of storms that continues to form and as you can see as it makes its way south and east it's continuing to expand and so that's what we're going to be on guard for again this could be making its way toward our area so we have this one week disturbance moving through now here comes the big disturbance here just ahead of the cold front that's the one that's going to produce all the active weather tonight and you can see these steering wheels are howling out of the west going towards the east so that will drive any thunderstorm complexes well off to the east including right into our area later on tonight but also could tap into some of those strong upper level winds and bring those down to the surface with any thunderstorms that do develop so over the next couple of hours an isolated shower storm or two will be possible but it's not till we get towards about four or five o'clock in the morning i'm going to be concerned about those big time storms to our north and west here you can see them approaching the northwestern half of the area from dubuque to anamosa in iowa city and then as we get towards about 7, 8 o'clock, those storms will definitely be making their way right on through the heart of the QCA. We're talking from Savannah down to Clinton, the Quad Cities, all the way towards Mount Pleasant and Burlington, and then making their way out towards the south and east between about 9 a.m. and noon before they pull out of the area. Then we'll dry things out for most of your Sunday afternoon, but Sunday evening, we've got to watch for that cold front to make its way through. Could have a couple of more isolated storms developing then. But all concerns will be on as we head towards early tomorrow morning during the pre-dawn hours when that line of strong to severe thunderstorms will roll into the area. Again, the primary risk, damaging winds, but can't rule out large hail and isolated tornado and even some flash flooding here. Everyone is under that severe weather threat. And again, that goes from a night tonight into Sunday morning, primarily between about 3 a.m. and 9 a.m. And with that heavy rain and that snow, slow moving line of storms moving in, we could be dealing with that potential of some flash flooding as well. So we're going to be watching this for you very closely. Of course, I'll be tracking things late tonight. Teresa will be in early tomorrow morning to keep you updated as well. We'll have those storms early tomorrow morning. Then I think we dry things out briefly tomorrow afternoon before an isolated storm Sunday night. And then we're dry but warm as we get into the beginning of the work week with the humidity on the return.